Hey, how's it going everyone? That guy here. And this is my first YouTube video, so... Today, I thought I'd just play a bit of... Bloons... The first Bloons game. I haven't played this game in quite a long time. And I felt like... While we're all in lockdown... What a better game to play than an old classic. Now, if you don't know what Bloons is, Bloons is a tower defense game. And it's, it's a very simple tower defense game in this form. Um, I'm a huge Bloons fan, so I have the newer games. I play Bloons TD5, 6. I played the Battles game a couple years ago. I don't play Battles anymore, but yeah, so... I, I do know what I'm doing when it comes to balloons, however, this is such a basic, old version of the game that there's a lot of things that I might actually find difficult. Uh, one of the first things I noticed is that the upgrade paths only seem to have one tier of upgrade. And that's... I, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I mean, hopefully the balloons don't get too hard. I'm assuming the balloons can't be that difficult to be if there's only one tier of upgrades. And there's only five towers you can build. We have Dart Monkey, Tack Shooter, Ice Tower, Bomb Tower, and Super Monkey. Now, honestly, I'm probably going to go for a tack oriented strategy just because the tack shooter is one of my favorite towers in balloons. I don't I don't know why that is. It's just really satisfying when the tack shooter fires to me anyway. Um I absolutely hate super monkeys. They're way too expensive and I'm assuming because there's only one tier of upgrades, they can't be that good in this game, right? So I, I'm not going to go for any super monkeys, I don't think. Um, so, I, hopefully I'm getting the placement on my towers right. I'm not too sure about the placements. Um, I like to think I'm fairly decent at balloons games, but I'm I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Just just looking at it, it's it's such a simpler time, like when balloons looked like this. Because now it the game just looks so good. You know, if you've played BTD six, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Like just just looking at like the graphics here and how the game started. Like it, it's just it's gone through such good development. I'm glad that Ninja Kiwi kept making these games. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't even know how long this is, because when I start, obviously, it's, it's just one map, and you, you just start the game, so... I, I really don't know how long this goes on for. Like, how long do I need to, su to survive? Is it is it just endless? Does it does it have an end? I, I don't know. If it doesn't end, I might just stop when I reach a certain point. We'll, we'll have to see. I, I assume it'd have an end. So yeah, d these rounds are going by pretty easily, you know, no nothing too deadly is coming out. I'm just going to place a tack shooter there, hopefully it'll catch some of the extra greens and blues that come around. There's a pretty big cluster of balloons there. Ooh, please get them. Ooh, that was, that was close. We, all we almost lost a life there. Should, should I go for no lives lost? Maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, where, where should I place this dark monk? I don't, I don't really know where to place any towers. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place it next to this one. It seems like an alright position. You can hit the balloons from three different directions when you upgrade its range. Three different paths, I should mean, say. Yeah, it, it seems to be alright. 
Um, I'm probably just going to stick to using dart monkeys and tax shooters. Hopefully they can get me fairly far through the get. Oh, there's there's yellow balloons. Um, yeah, we we need to upgrade. That that might have been a bit of a panic upgrade. To be fair, I I might not have needed to do that. It's better to be safe than sorry, though, right? So, like, I, I don't really know what to go for. Um, probably just buy a bunch of tax shooters, honestly. I, I just, I'd love tax shooters. And the balloons don't seem that difficult in this game, so... I might be able to beat everything with just tax shooters and dart monkeys. I might get some bomb towers, too. I'm, I'm not really sure. I think I'm just going to keep these two, like, little lanes here for my dart monkeys and just place a couple at the bottom, a couple at the top. Uh, with my tax shooters, I'm definitely going to keep those in the parts of the map that swing around so they can hit as many balloons as possible. I want to make full use of the tax shooter range, so I'm probably just going to stack a bunch of tax shooters all together in one spot. Yeah, look, look at that. No lives lost yet. I'm on round 13. That's it's not that far, to be fair. Alright, so... What should I do next? I... I didn't realise bomb towers are 900 money to buy. I'm so used to them only being like 650-ish. I think they're like I think they're 650 in BTD6. I I don't remember entirely. It's been a little while since I played any balloons games. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna stack some tax shooters here instead. I, I mean, truly, I don't know how good a bomb tower could be in this game anyway. I mean, is there black balloons and stuff in this game? Like, I, I don't actually know, so... I mean, if there's black balloons, then I'm not going to be able to pop those with a bomb tower. But the bomb tower is good for every other balloon that's coming out, and there's a lot of these balloons, so... It might be worth getting one. We'll see. Depending on how these next couple waves go, I might buy a bomb tower. I mean, we're just, we're shredding these balloons. Tax shooters are just, they're, they're so good, like... Use tax shooters, people, please. Just use tax shooters. At least use tax shooters if you're gonna play this game. Because it looks like tax shooters are definitely the way to go. And use the good old classic dart monkey too, I guess. Dart monkeys are great. One tower I haven't talked about here is the Ice Monkey. Um, ice Monkeys are also one of my favourite towers, at least in Bloons 6. I really like how they fire icicles, and then the icicles stick on the track and stuff. But obviously, we're not going to have that in this game, so... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use a single ice tower. Ooh, that's a nice explosion from the bomb tower. Really old school explosion right there. Like, I mean, like, I'm a 2000s kid, so... I mean... I didn't really play too many games growing up either. I never played old games with this kind of style. Like, just, just looking at the, the old explosion graphic, it, it looks so... It's just funny, I guess. Also, the bomb tower is pretty loud. I didn't expect it to, like, make such a loud explosion sound. It's, it seems to be doing a pretty good job, too. Anyway, 
what what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the ice towers. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna build no ice towers. I've I've already decided that. Like I'm gonna stick just to tax darts and I guess a couple bomb towers. They seem to be decent, so I don't see why I wouldn't use the bomb tower. Yeah, I mean, look, we're just shredding through these balloons at this point. We're, what, 24 waves in now? I keep seeing there's a little text box that pops up at the start of each round. I, I have not, well, n not the start, the end of each round. I, I have not been reading those at all. I assume they give me information on what's happening or something. It, it seems like they give me extra money for completing a round two. I, I just, I keep clicking start round. I, I'm, I'm not really sitting around and waiting to read those. I mean, I, I think I've got this, you know, like, I'm not having any problems here. My, my tax shooters are shredding these balloons. Anyway, let's place another bomb tower down. I don't really know where to place it, though. I mean, this seems like, I mean, if, you know, I'll, I'll upgrade the range on it at some point, that might be a good tower to place there. And yeah, I think I'll keep my dart monkeys all in a little line up top, just to catch any, like, extra balloons that come floating by. Yeah, look at that. We just we just annihilated this wave so easily. All right, we're just gonna just gonna place more dart monkeys. Oh, we do have black balloons. Oh well, that that black balloon's getting a bit far. Okay, we we got it. We got it. We good. Alright, I might want a couple more tax shooters. I, I honestly did not expect black balloons, but, I mean, why wouldn't there be black balloons? It makes sense. Actually, does that mean there's lead balloons in this game? I never thought about that. Maybe I do need bomb towers. If there's lead balloons, I'll need bomb towers for that. Oh, we're getting a load of black balloons next round. I just read that one. Oh... Yeah, hopefully I can get through this with no more lives lost. We did lose four lives early on. Um, I should be fine. I'm just going to build an extra attack for extra defense. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Those two bomb towers are really well placed for shooting balloons as they come around the back. Not so much the front balloons here, though. It's definitely a bit harder because you don't you can't choose what balloons your towers target in this game. They automatically aim for the first balloon. Well, except for tax shooters, which will just shoot every balloon in range because it shoots in eight directions. What we got? I think we're good. I, I'm skim reading these um little text boxes every couple rounds or so now, just in case. Oh, please, please, get those. Okay, we're good. That was, that was close. I should, I should build more towers. Let's, yeah, let's just build a bunch of dart monkeys all up top of the map here. Not upgrade them, just, well, not upgrade them yet. Just build a ton of dart monkeys up here. And get them the range, at least. Because they do get a decent bit of range added to them. Now, with this many dart monkeys, there's, there's no way we can 
let any balloons get past our defense when they get to the back, right? Like, any balloon that makes it up near the top of the map should just get shredded by those dart monkeys at this point. I'm not gonna lie, the sound of the tack shooter is really satisfying when there's a big cluster of balloons running over them. And I have a lot of money right now, too. The, the money just pours in in this game, huh? I guess it's because there's only one tier of upgrades, so... Yeah. It's, I, I keep trying to compare it way too much to the newer games, and that's a, that's a bad idea, because... I mean, that this is the very first Bloons tower defense game, so of course it's going to be a lot more basic, a lot simpler than the new games. I don't I don't think I've got anything to worry about as long as I just keep upgrading and buying new towers as and when I need them. Right now though, we're just shredding through these balloons. Like I have two thousand money saved up and I have no reason to spend it. I mean I could for the lols get a super monkey, I just really don't want to. I don't even know how much they cost, actually, because I, I don't remember looking. If I did look, I already forgot, because there was no point in me remembering how much they cost. Just black balloons. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of tax shooters, then. If there's just black balloons coming up on the next round, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a bunch of tax shooters and just upgrade all the tax shooters I have. You know, let's let's just like create a circle of tax shooters up here if if I can place them. Or maybe I'll just I'll just place it down there, you know, and just, yeah, screw it, get an extra dart monkey. We'll upgrade it as we get the money for it in the round. Alright. Alright, how are we doing? You know what, after upgrading these tax shooters to shoot faster, that definitely went way smoother than I expected it. Oh, I never upgraded these dart monkeys, don't you? I should upgrade these dart monkeys, too. Yeah, that that's... I don't know why I never upgraded any of those bottom dart monkeys. I, I only just realized that at around 38. Like, come on, what, what's going through my head sometimes? Anyway, yeah, th these balloons are just getting shredded on the very first straight that they go down. What's, what's this? Just just reds? Blues? This is this an easy... Oh, I get it. This is one of those rounds that progressively gets hot. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, just reds and blues at round 39, what? Does that mean we're gonna get some blacks after these? There we go. In come the black- oh, that's- that's a that's a lot of black balloons. Anyway, let, let's build another bomb tower. And some more dart monkeys for a bit extra safety at the back. I, I don't know how these coming rounds are gonna go. Oh, there's Y balloons too? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get more tax. I, I already have a lot of tax shooters. I'm gonna get more tax shooters. And dart monkeys, of course. Dart monkeys are cheap, so. I mean, why not just litter the ground in dart monkeys, you know? I just, I can't tell you how much I love tack shooters. Like, honestly, one of my favorite towers. I would say the only problem with tack shooters is they don't hit camo balloons, but I've noticed that camo and regen balloons do not seem to exist in this game at all. There are 
so many balloons this wave. But it, it was no problem, huh? So many balloons came that wave. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the time to actually build tag sheets. Come on, let me play. Okay, we can place them up here on the side. I'm gonna do that. It might not be the most effective way to place them, but I'm gonna place them. I mean, with the range upgrades, I assume they should be able to hit the front balloons when they fire. See, look at that. They just shred those balloons as they come around that first bend now. Like, tax shooters are so good. Maybe it's just this game, but I love them in all the games. Well, all the games that I've played. Okay. There, there we go. Look at that. Created my own little tax shooter circle of death. And I'm just gonna place this extra bomb tower, you know. I mean... First we shred away at the balloons, and then we bomb them down. And if neither of those work, we have our dart monkeys throwing darts like there's no tomorrow. That, that just went so well. I might as well just upgrade what I have at this point, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah. As long as I have the range upgrades on everything, that should be fine. I don't know if I should get the bigger bombs upgrade. I mean, I, I might as well, I guess. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll either buy it or I won't. We'll see. I, I don't know how useful the upgrade would be, honestly. So, that's why I don't buy it yet. I mean, we're on round 49. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll buy it. I just, I'll buy them just because I have the money to buy them. Oh, those explosions are so much bigger now, huh? I guess that was a good idea to buy them. I genuinely did not know what the bigger explosions would do, and they were expensive to get, which is why I didn't buy them, but, like, these waves just give me so much money that there, there was no reason not to buy those upgrades, and those explosions are definitely at least two times the size of what they were before. And just look at those. That's that's insane. Oh, oh, we beat the game. Well, well, thanks for watching. That was Bloom's Tower Defense One, I guess.